All right, finally, I think we're gonna do Darkness Beneath the Earth to finish up the month. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Hubert reveals some of his thoughts about the mysterious power aiding the Empire with strange technology. As fate would have it, a visitor chooses that moment to arrive. I wonder who the visitor is. That one, um... Shoot, what was his name? I'm blanking on it. He's one of the nobles, though. The guy who never showed up in the Golden Deer, but made an appearance. Regardless, I, we'll see. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go kill some Agarthians. Professor, you are here. Of course. What can I... Well. What am I here for? Did you send for me? No. But while you are here, you may as well listen. Hmm? Shoot. I am sure you recall hearing about Kranya, Solon, and Lord Arendelle. That was it, Lord Arendelle. Right. That's who I was thinking of earlier. I'm investigating their true identities. Hmm. Lord Arendelle's not Lord Arendelle? I want to know their origins, their numbers, their base of operations, their plans. I guess... Yeah, I guess he could be an Agarthian. Actually, have they confirmed that or not? I don't think they have. Or if they have, I've completely forgotten. I know he's working with them, at the very least. But so are a bunch of nobles, it seems. I want to know where they acquired their dark powers. How they disguise themselves. <laughs> Many intriguing mysteries surround these people. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I very much would. Yes. I have a name for them. Oh? Traitors? Scum? Agarthians? Those who slither in oh. the dark. Wait, you're the one who came up with that name? That's 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 fantastic, Hubert. The slithery snakes. Lord Hubert, pardon me, but Lord Arundel is at the monastery. Oh, hey, and he is the one who showed up. He says he wants to discuss something with you and is waiting in the reception hall. So what do you say? Ambush him? Kidnap him? Tie him up? Throw him in a cellar? Interrogate him? Speaking of... Professor, would you come along? Of course. I look forward to it. Hubert, I have something I must request <laughs> of you. There he is. A sly bastard. Request? That is an unusual word choice. Hmm. I do forget what his uh, position was. Hmm. Yeah, I cannot. I can't remember. A request by definition can be refused. Hmm. But if you have orders, Regent, I will oh. follow them. Well, he wouldn't be a Regent anymore. I mean, Lady Edelgard has assumed the throne. <laughs> Such a reaction before you even hear me out. Very well. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now. One of my subordinates was conducting experiments in the sealed forest. Her name wasn't Cranio, was it? Or Solon? The demonic beast he was using ran wild and has created something of a situation. Take care of it. <laughs> Can't handle it yourself? Experiments, you say? <laughs> Very well. I will set out at once. Now the question is, which of them gives off a more evil vibe? I mean, Hubert is more, you know, sinister from a, you know, dastardly. Was it Dick Dastardly? Or Snidely Whiplash, how about, um, point of view kind of persona. Lord Arundel, though, is more sly, conniving. Professor, will you assist? Oh, of course. Let's go. Thank you for your support. It is a great help. 
<laughs> well, he's less snidely whiplash in, you know, actual actions and personality, more just how over the top he is in his evil persona. Do we only get four people for this one? Oh no, everyone's just spread out. Oh boy, my favorite kind of map. Split party. And winged demonic beasts. Count as flying, dragon, and monster. And they are fast, of course. Of course. Oh! Well, this is awkward. Those who slither in the dark are... Allies. It seems. Or are they? I mean, they're green. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. Though... I'd be neglecting my trope awareness if I didn't fully expect them the moment the fight actually starts to turn on me and become enemies. Like an assassination attempt kind of deal. Alright, I think we're ready. I have Edelgard. Wait. Yeah, Edelgard over here. Basically none of the monsters can do much damage to her. Um, along with Caspar and Ferdy. Hopefully, Petra will be able to... Well, Petra and the Death Knight will be able to take him out in one turn. Though maybe I'll need... No. A combination of the three of them should be able to do it. Um, and then we have Lenhart, Bernie, and these guys over here. Should go well, I think. Of course, nothing is ever quite as easy as it seems in these, so we'll see. Route the enemy. Byleth, Edelgard, or Hubert fall in battle. My, my! Looks like this forest became infested with demonic beasts while we weren't looking. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what we're here for. I suppose we've not a moment to lose. Right. Not that I'm concerned for any of these people. <laughs> I love the uh, implied air quotes around people. Talking about the slithery snakes. But since there may be a reward in it for us, we may as well do what we can to rescue them. Of course. Maybe they won't turn on us. But now then, give it time. Let's split up and move in to assist. It may be worth focusing your attention on those being targeted by multiple demonic beasts. Oh yeah, okay, no. That's the gambit, is we have to actually save them. Damn. Alright. If you, sir, if you guys move off your protective tiles, I'll be very pissed. And you guys not on protective tiles, please move into the bushes and stay there. Um. Okay. I'm awake. Excalibur's good, but not enough. I do this um, Bernie. Gambit. What's your current weapon? Okay, he can't kill you. That's good. And Blessed Bow's a little better. Still, though, this should be enough. No, not quite. One more solid blow. What's my we'll do it, though. Um. Let's see. I could send you over to support Hubert. Um. If I send Byleth here, I could hit him with a gambit. Might not be a bad idea. Or I could finish his. Fish him with a gambit. Uh, no. Let's let's take care of this one. And we'll be in the bushes. Why not? And 
and since he's ranged, we'll switch to the Leaven Sword. Good job. Byleth. Alright, Excalibur. Actually, fire would be enough. Good, still going after Byleth. Um, Hubert. I'll cut a blood yeah, path. go ahead and support Bernie over here. I will prevail. Understood. We can do that in a moment. Petra. Who's your ability? Blaze. In other words, I'll have to target that square. I won't be able to take out another. Another tile. Oh well, so be it. Or I could have you go to intercept this one. Um, his chances of hitting are a little high for my liking. Perhaps we'll stick with you. Good, still going after Petra with your 12% chance. And let's take you out. At least one of your health bars. Guard. I'm not sure if you can, uh, actually, what's, what are you gonna, who are you gonna go after? Well, I would assume him, but it doesn't seem you want to go after anyone. Yeah, just keep up the, actually, switch to the killer axe. Why not? Ready for anything. Okay, you have a 100% chance to survive. It's a good sign. And oh, right, you have the fortress. Put me in there. All right, Caspar, wait in the bushes. I think, though, I am going to. So he doesn't have the range to get to the other one over there. He ha barely has the range to get to this one. If I block him off right here, that might force him to attack Edelgard or Ferdinand or maybe Kaspar. Hey, the heal. Bastard. Well. Uh-oh. That's not good. At least they heal. Oh, good job. You actually did something useful. You guys are... Excellent work. Seriously. Let's see, you have... I can't quite see. Looks like these two spots are still available for killing. Or I can gambit you. We'll 
recovery. Excellent. Alright, Bryleth. Good job. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Um... Hopefully he misses one of them. As for you... Hubert. What gambit do you have? 90%. I like that. I can help too. Actually, with that, he might not recover next till... Next round. I can't remember. Yeah, I, I think so. Oh, God. Jeez, Bernie. Um. It's not the blessed bow. Steel bow, though. Appears to be more than enough. All right. I should heal you if I can. Uh, Mercy, you can take care of that. You, I can finish off easily enough. Hmm. That'd be a good start. 27, though. Oh, yeah, that's more than enough. Okay. No, actually, I'll see if Thunder is enough, then. No, it isn't. Go ahead and finish him. Excellent work, Petra. And your range. Okay. Right there. Physic. Good. Good job. It's not going to show me how much damage, but hopefully he should be able to survive that. Um, need to take you out while I'm at it. I can impregnable wall you if I need to. If I need to. Oh, what am I doing? I should have attacked there. Oh well. Just gambit you for now. Apologies. Shit. It wasn't enough. Hmm. Uh, should I try to save him? I can't think of how I would. I don't think Fortify heals any more than her Physic. And with that in mind... I suppose I could have... Maybe Linhart. Oh yeah, Linhart. A combination of Linhart at least. We can... We can save him. Alright. In that case, I've Hubert. Cut a bloody path. We'll Good job. Actually, I'm just gonna repeat my actions so I'll skip past this. Alright, I healed him with 
fortify this time. And actually, it does look like it might have healed a little more. If I remember correctly, he does 25-25 to the Mysterious Mage. So maybe I can get away with, uh... Linhart not healing. In which case, let's go ahead and, um... Hit you with the steel sword, being a monsters, or maybe iron sword, being a monsters. And looks like uh, Excalibur. There we go. Yep. Looks like I was correct. Uh, well, I was initially wrong. For if I does heal more than physic, but um, correct in that I didn't need to waste one heart on that. Good job. All of you are still alive? Excellent work, guys. Okay. Looks like I need to weaken you first. Um. Hmm. Okay, do I have a... I think I have a three attack. Yeah. Let's do... Mire. Or you can just finish him off yourself. That works too. Okay, you. Um. You have another one, I think. Yes, perfect, in fact. Three Emperor Steels, nice. Um, all right, head north. I also need to get what's in that chest. Um, Petra, do you still have ability to unlock? Yeah, you still have lock touch, good. In that case, right here. No, wait. Right here? Apparently not. Oh, it's not a flyer. I see. Well, in that case, let's hit you with the brave bow. And we should probably heal you. With a heal. Good. And probably a physic from Linhart. Because I think Byleth can finish you off. Or not. Can Excalibur finish you off? No, apparently. All right, we'll see. Uh, hopefully he should divert his attack to the Death Knight, so we should be able to get away with this. Good job. Okay, you guys. Let's finish him off if we can. Otherwise, I'll have to... Okay, good. We can... We can save him for sure. Um... 
Oh, perfect. Monster Breaker. Just enough damage, in fact. <laughs> 18, uh, 4, 64%. Fuck it, let's go. Nice. No time for accolades. No kidding. Okay, so that's also then game at you. Apologies. Back off. Hey. Bastard. You dumbass. All right. Good. No, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. He's even with fortify. Oh. No, he's at 52 now. Could have sworn it just said he was at 47. Okay, that should be enough then. He should be able to survive. What's my strategy? In the meantime, I was thinking about it, and Pilot's not close enough to any of the others, barring some, you know, event to make this parallel harder. This is the last enemy he's gonna face, so might as well go out and finish him off with ashes and dust. survived. You... God... No. Fuck it. There's little I can do to save them from their own stupidity. I don't have enough healing on hand. I even impregnable walled him and if that can't save him, nothing can. Uh. God damn it. I do this for all of us. Bernie, you wanna... Hmm. Last bow, it seems, would be the best. And we'll enclose him. Because why not? Petra, I, I need you up it. here. Uh, Yuritza? Ooh, get close to Mercy. And finish him off. Wait, actually. Might have been better to go the other way around. Have Mercy finish him. Asshole! You have vantage? Oh, that was a good level. Oh, yeah. I guess it was just the birds that had desperation. Understood. All right. So Lance. Damn it, you don't have. Oh, you could crit. Even a good chance at critting with the sight of cereal. All right, let's go for it. Good job. Way to go there, Death Knight. Ready for anything. Hmm, that's for you. Let's not. Not sure who he's gonna go. Oh, he's not going anywhere. It seems. Just finish this up then. I will prevail. Petra, how close are you to that chest? Hopefully you can get it next turn. Um For the Edelgard. 
Good job. Uh, Kaspar. Excellent as well. And I will I'll get rid of one of your health blocks. Why not? Good job, Freddy. Von Iyer. I mean, there's a little point to this, but screw it. Alright, time to finish this. What do we got in the chest? Ooh, a Seraph Robe. It's fantastic. More HP for me. Alright, as for finishing you off, um... I think I want to have Edelgard do it. She's a little low level for being, you know, one of my main characters. At least I want to give her one of them. So we'll start with a Swift Strike. Good job. Ferdinand Von Eyre. And then Edelgard can step in and hit him with the Steel Axe. <laughs> good, 18 to hit. Your dodge has gotten quite good, um... Caspar. What a disgrace to be saved by those fools. <laughs> the fact that you don't like being saved by us really makes it almost worth it enough the embarrassment you must feel proved useful go ahead and take them ooh your tools i gather yes i suppose we will take them off your hands since you asked so nicely is this for rescuing half of them i think that's the message i saw that i skipped past really quickly Arrow of Indra. Looks like it's actually a spear, not an arrow. Shimmering magical lance crafted using ancient technology. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any other spears to compare it to at the moment. But, ooh, it's ranged. Okay. That's its benefit. Nice. Probably give it to Ferdinand. So long, you incompetent fools who had to be saved by lesser humans. Be sure to rub that in their faces. And I go Caspar. Guess he did kill two of them. <laughs> Casualties. Oh, you fuck you. Helpful as I had thought you would be. Little bastard. Your stupid henchmen were incompetent at staying alive. What can I say? There's only so much I can do to deal with greens like that. We did the best we could. I'm not criticizing you. This failure is my own for thinking you were capable of more. Well, if you are so capable of yourself, why didn't you go and do it yourself, Mr. Arundel? It seems gratitude is in order. Let us meet again soon. As long as it involves stabbing you, I'm fine with that. You haven't actually done anything specific to get on my bad side, but... At least yet. However, I feel like you're probably pulling strings. That make it... Make you worthy of it. Good riddance. Since that man is. And if it would help Edelgard, I'd be more than happy to stab him. He and his ilk must be aware of my investigation. <laughs> no doubt this was all an attempt to make us believe we are powerless against them. Why? By showing us how weak his men are? 
It has only achieved the opposite effect. Yeah, no kidding. How so? They are looking down on us. Hmm. They think we cannot touch them, but the closer we get to them, the less true that becomes. I mean, Lord Arundel was right there in front of us. We could have easily assassinated him. Just you and me. I don't see anyone else around here. No one would ever know. We could hide the body in Abyss. You know, what, what happens in Abyss stays in Abyss after all. Just look at this weaponry we received as a token of their appreciation. It would be impossible for us to manufacture such a piece with our current tools and knowledge. Yeah, they're a bit advanced. They did invent dubstep uh, after all. It is not as powerful as a relic, but it is nearly so. Well, I guess. Twelve, well... I was gonna say, twelve damage seems a little low for a relic, but it does have the range, so... It's definitely stronger than a javelin. We will keep them close for now, while we still need their strength to rule Fodlan. <laughs> but then, eventually... It'll be time to slide in the knife, right? Hopefully we backstab them before they get a chance to backstab us, but... Once Fodlan is united, however, the focus of this war will shift. Rather than swords clashing on the battlefield, it will be knives. Yes, yeah, so you were on the same page. Darkness. Lady Edelgard's war will be over, and House Vestra's will begin. <laughs> Hubert. You're not going behind Lady Edelgard's back on this, are you? We who rule the shadows will eradicate those who slither in the dark. <laughs> I like the way you put that. When that time comes, Professor, you will be quite useful to us. Oh, I have no doubt. <laughs> but please try to say that without such an evil voice. Don't tie up any loose ends or anything. That might have actually been the single easiest prologue of Maddening so far. Interesting. Cornelia, I have a report from our scouts. Oh, hey, Rodrigue. And hello, Cornelia. Princess Cornelia. Well, definitely not the same, but I wonder how similar they might be. The Imperial army that departed from Gerig Mach en route to the capital now appears to be marching here. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> okay, I see what you guys meant. Whoa, that face. God damn. Almost looks m maddened. Or insane, rather. Or maybe just bloodthirsty. Is she a grummery? Looks like a grummery outfit. The speed of the army's movement quickens. They will be here to invade within days. Hmm. Apparently we did not do a good job at staying hidden. I just sent some of my troops to support the capital. It is likely to be a fierce fight. Hmm, Rodrig. How could this be? I have not heard a thing about... Oh, oh I understand now. I am the target. <laughs> You? Are you sure they do not mean to take Aryan Road for strategic reasons? You know, I don't know how many of you have seen it, but that reminds me of um, a bridge too far that one uh, general or field marshal who assumes that he's the reason that for the invasion. It's just, it's very similar. And when in fact it is for strategic reasons. It would appear so from the outside. However, the circumstances are not that simple. It is exactly the same situation. It's actually, that's hilarious. And will you calm yourself? It will not be a fierce fight whatsoever. Hmm. The sweet children I have prepared will protect Aryan Road well. Um... Please tell me you're not actually throwing children at me. Cornelia. 
please tell me you're not... Well, I don't have attachments to most of the blue lions as much as I do the golden deer yet. But I still don't want to kill them. Orion Road is a fortress city that was built about 400 years ago. Hmm. Originally a base on the front lines of the battle against the kingdom, it was built using imperial money and technology. <laughs> and now it's being used against us. However, the head of House Row secretly planned to betray the Empire. Right. As the fortress neared completion, it was rebuilt as a base to defend against the Empire. <laughs> When the fortress was completed, House Row declared its vassalage to the kingdom. Right. Since then, Aryan Road has never fallen. Not once. Mm, there's a first time for everything. The beautiful white walls that protect it against its enemies have earned it the nickname, the Silver Maiden. In the end, that is all it is to the Empire. The Silver Maiden stands as a bitter memory. Of betrayal. We will now be destroying that memory. <laughs> the past is the past. Now is this so nonchalant. And we're to about to shatter those memories. A fortress that has never fallen. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to make it fall. You and me both, Caspar. How savage of you. And yet, I must say, I agree with the sentence. <laughs> there you go, Ferdinand. Let loose a little. Let us take the sturdy Aryan road and continue our march against the kingdom. Yes. I suspect after Aryan road, it'll be straight to the capital. And after that, I'm suspecting Lady Rhea. An invincible fortress? Sounds perfect. Really? Bernie? What, a perfect place to hide away, you mean? Unfortunately, it will soon no longer be invincible. <laughs> Well, at least if we succeed. Otherwise, we will keep its title. And we'll be dead. Or routed. The Silver Maiden's iron skin is about to be damaged. It's sad, really. Yeah. Hopefully we can avoid damaging the fortress too much, if not for the history. I mean, to make strategic use of it in the future. Is it silver or iron? Use your language with clarity, please. <laughs> Of course, Petra. Really, Lynn, there must be a better way to say that. Since we are attacking a heavily guarded place, we must take extra care to prevent allies from getting injured. Of course. Thank you, everyone. I'm counting on all of you. Now, let's resume our advance. March on. This battle is for the future of Fodlan. Lady Cornelia. Well done, Professor. Thank you. Taking care of business. I was pleased to hear you res I was pleased to hear you rescued those merchants. <laughs> A strong economy bodes well for us. Fine work. That's my best keyword voice. To ensure the safety. Right, now we get uh, a new merchant, right? Yeah. Excellent work. I believe we can now also... Hmm. Maybe it'd be a good idea to make you a bishop. I only have one fancy seal. Let's hold off on that for a moment. Caspar, you are now ready for... War Master. Oof. Well... Here's hoping. Come on. Yes! Way to go, Caspar. Oh yeah! Nailed it! Way to go. We'll keep you as a bishop, Mercy. 
Um, however, I was thinking of turning Linhart right into a bishop. What was the mastery ability? I already forgot. Mm, do I not have it anymore? It must be renewal, if I had to guess. Compared to bow breaker. Mm, I don't really feel like I need renewal. It would be nice to get the extra healing though. Though, on the other hand, this makes you stronger. Black Magic uses times two and Black Tome Fair. I will just keep you as is. Now, since that was such a quick paralogue, perhaps we could get some of these out of the way. Like there aren't too many of them. Though they are all A's, right? Maybe I'll save them for next time. Alright. The Siege of Arian Road. With razor sharp focus on the unification of Fodlin. Edelgard feigns a premature assault on Ferdiad, while the Black Eagle Strike Force instead descends on the southern stronghold of Aryan Road. Felix's father. And Cornelia. Who apparently is going to send a bunch of little children at me. <laughs> <laughs> 